let's see. I know this, but I think this, and then I th maybe this. And then I'd have to do this. I think, I think that's what I have to do. Hey, what's wrong? Hey, math man. Hey. I'm having a hard time with decimals. Oh, okay, I can help you. Let's go to the board. Now that we're at the board, let's look at decimals, addition, and subtraction. The terminology here is that a decimal is a numerical representation of a fraction or part of a number. For example, if we have 3 sixths, if we divide that out, we would get 0 0.5. And that's half, which is the same thing as 3 sixths. Two-thirds would be 0 0.666 repeating. One-fifth would be 0 0.2. Negative six-tenths would be negative 0 0.6. And one and one-half would be 1 1.5. So these decimals are all representations of a fraction. Now let's look at adding and subtracting these decimals. We're going to line them up. First, we'll look at adding. You're going to place the numbers on top of each other. For this example, we'll use 4.25 plus 3.63. We place them on top of each other and make sure the decimals are lined up. Then we add the numbers as usual. So, little decimal, what's 5 plus 3? That is 8. What's 2 plus 6? 8. And what's 4 plus 3? 7. So we place those numbers underneath, and then the decimal point falls to the bottom. So we have our answer, which is 7.88. There you go. Now let's look at subtracting decimals. It's going to work very much the same way. First, we're going to place the numbers on top of each other. For this example, we'll use the same numbers and subtract them. 4.25 minus 3.63. We place them on top of each other and make sure that the decimals are lined up. Then we subtract the numbers as usual. So, little decimal, what's 5 minus 3? 2. And what's 2 minus 6? We can't do that. You're right. We can't do that. But we can borrow from the 4, making it 3, and move the value of 10 over to our 2, which makes it 12. And 12 minus 6 equals 6. That's right. And then 3 minus 3 gives us zero. 0. Then we move our decimal to the bottom. It falls down, and we get 0 0.62. Now we have to deal with negatives. For example, 6.32 plus negative 4.1. So we place them on top of each other. And you can also add a 0 to the end of the number to make them have the same number of decimal places. So we subtract as normal. What's 2 minus 0? 2. Remember that 3 plus a negative number of 1 is the same thing as 3 minus 1. So what's 3 minus 1? 2. Exactly. And then 6 plus negative 4 is the same thing as 6 minus 4, which would give us? 2. So our answer is? 2.22. Exactly. And now it's question time! We have three examples here to work through, and then we'll give you some to work on your own. The first one is 1.44 plus 7.99. So, a little decimal. What's 4 plus 9? 13. We put a 3 on bottom and a 1 on top. Now we have that 1 plus the 4 is 5 plus 9 is? Is 14. 4 and 1. And what's 2 plus 7? 9. 9. There we go. So our answer is? 9.43. Very good. Now our second question, 5.19 plus 7.63. So what's 9 plus 3? 12. 2 on bottom. 1 on top, and 2 plus 6 eight. is 8. 
Then five plus seven is? Twelve. Then our decimal falls to the bottom and our answer is? Twelve point eighty two. And now our final question, eight point six five plus negative three point two eight. Now remember that adding a negative is just like subtraction. So what's five minus eight? We have to borrow. That's right. So we're going to borrow from this six here and make it a five. And we'll move the value of 10 over to the five. So it makes it 15. And 15 minus eight is? Seven. Seven. Then five minus two is? Three. And eight minus three is? Five. And then our decimal falls to the bottom, giving us our answer of? 5.37. Now, here's some to try on your own. I'll give you some music to play by. Good luck. Make sure you hit the like button and subscribe and comment down below if there's anything else that we can do to help you. Until next time, see you later.